All right, so this rain's sort of been on and off all night, drizzling and stuff, so um, I've just been sitting in my car for the last hour or two, just seeing what it's gonna do, um, doing a bit of editing or whatever, so. But I think it's uh, it's about to blow over. We'll probably get bits and bobs come through um, for the morning and whatever, and uh, we'll just see what happens. But I think the sun's just about to poke its head out, so we'll get out there. Um, if we have to deal with a little bit of rain here and there, we just will, but I think we'll do all right, eh? So let's just drop this boat in and see how we go. We're like super early, but see it's still way down, but this is a steep bank here. So we'll give this a go. A bit of overhang, a bit of surface action. So we'll just have a look at this first, and as this tide comes in, we'll move up um, as it comes up onto the mangroves. And I've sort of mapped out two or three areas where we'll be able to just get it done kind of thing. Yeah. I've got to get a little bit semi-organised today. There's some stuff just getting belted in here, so I'm keen to um, get something tied on and get it get it done. What's wrong with that fucking thing? There's always something wrong in there. Always. What have we got in here? I'm, just, I'm in the mood to just in the mood to throw something a bit different. Oh, I've got these things. I haven't thrown these things yet. Yeah, billy goats. Uh, let's start working along this bank here. See if we can... Oh, we want to see how this... Oh yeah, that works alright, eh? That actually works really cool, hey? It's a bit different to the frog. It's more more bubbly. More of a more of a bubble than a paddle. Look at that underhang there. Underhang, undercut or overhang, not both together, generally speaking. There's a few brims sitting there. I'll just hit this bit first. Oh, that was a, what was that? He nailed it though. Oh, oh did you see that? Did you see that? <laughs> what was he doing? <laughs> he barely ate it. Fish up in there, yeah. All right, I think we just move spots. Chase a bit more tide here. Put that down there. Chase a bit more tide here. Yeah, I reckon. A few jackos in there. Right up in there. So here's the deal with it all, right? Is um, you're gonna, you're only gonna get two, depending on the tide up here, on this specific lo. Let's talk about this specific location. You're only gonna get there's a jack there. Look, what's he gonna do? Is he murdering? No, he's not. Um, it's just sitting in the middle of nowhere. I don't know how easy you can see it, but the water looks brown. It's not brown, it's very, very clear, and that's the exposed bank. So this bank is partly, or pretty much exposed at low tide. So what you're actually seeing is not the color of the water, you're seeing the sand through the, the, the bluey sort of greeny water. It's very, very clear. So that's number one. Number two is um, picking that tide where, it's running in, in particular, in this in this case, running in, because that's when one you're going to get clear water, and and two, that's where the fish are going to take the opportunity to get up into these mangroves because they're not up here all the time, you know, they're only up here, um, you know, when the tide's high, or whatever. And the other reason 
why it's why it's going to be good today like we'll come out today for two three hours and catch you know whatever five fish is because the the tide at night is very very small so it's a probably a probably last night's tide is probably 30 centimeters higher than it is now so those fish didn't really get a good crack at them last night in here so they'll take the opportunity today on these bigger tide to um get up here and have a crack you can see it's quite shallow and sandy here which i've seen jack sit out here on the sand waiting you know and they're impossible to catch because they're spooky but um yeah that's kind of the theory behind it and you'll get a log like this say this log here that's sticking out it's it's almost a hundred percent um chance and i'll throw one on the outside to see if there's any dudes on the outside like so and then the next cast i'll throw will be up in like that oh no no one home Right, eh? Actually, don't like those logs as much. I like the more spindle ones. The more spindly ones. Get back up in there. Might be one on the back side of there. But yeah, I like more the spindly ones, eh? Hey? But anyway, bit of Jack theories with, uh, with Drew. Just see if he wants to bite again. Yep. Oh, no, he's only small, that's why. He's only 35 or so. But yeah, that's sort of where they'll sit. Jacks more so are at the backs of the snags. And logs like that, they're more tucked up in the backs. And the barrows will be sitting on the outsides. But not really after barrow, but that's just a rule of thumb, I guess. It's just what I've seen, what I've found. Anyways, we'll keep moving. Oh, Jacko, yes, yes. Knew there'd be one. Oh, there's a bigger one in there too. Fuck, if I had another rod. Oh, if I had another lure on, I'd be sweet. I could get two. <laughs> How greedy am I, hey? How greedy. He better come off. Oh, no, he's all right. He's hooked sort of in the nose more. Bunch of jacks in there. Little jack. You go at that side. I'm going to try and catch your mates. Be sweet. It's all starting to happen now with this tide coming in. Just got to know where to look, man. And these fish are gradually going to chase up. Chase the water up higher and higher into the groves. And you see now it's not quite enough for them to get in the groves. This stuff that's coming out, primo. Be this one stick here that's looking good. Well, there's one. Yep. Oh, yep. Oh. Oh. How many goes? How many of you want it? Oh. Oh, it's a boat. Three, four, five, six of them. Heaps of them. Go again. He's going back in there. Watch him go back in there, little Jack. <laughs> He went back, straight back into his snag. I mean, yeah, see if it comes back, boys. See if it comes back in here, boys. Oh, they... No, they came all the way up to the boat, man. Oh, no, not into it. Plenty of pepper. Straight back over there, no doubt. This is what gets you excited. A little tiny fella in there. Oh, big one there though. Whoa! Uh -oh. Now sticks like this one here. This is what gets me excited. These ones sticking out here. Yeah. Oh, terrible cast, but you're almost guaranteed. Yep. <laughs> almost guaranteed to get one on there. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> So sick. <laughs> How's the confidence level? <laughs> oh, you just find the patterns, man, and then it just all falls into place like that. Hectic. Hectic. 
Come here, mate. Come here, bro. Yeah. There you go. Not a bad one, all things considered. He ate it head first. So, yeah. Confidence level on that stick was sky high, so. I'm pretty stoked with that little fella. Little 40, you know, low 40s or whatever, so. Yeah, pretty cool. Literally ate it head first. Wee! <laughs> Plenty of pepper. Straight back over there, no doubt. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was very, very cool. Just worth having another look in there. See if there's another dude in there. Oh, my voice. My voice just cracked for the first time ever. And even these little stickies here, like, not always, but sometimes they're lurking. Oh, lurking, lurking. Little one. Sometimes they lurk. That's the stick there, and that's the next little stick. There's like bugger all of that stick there. But sometimes they lurk in there. He's not as big, but still sick. Sick as. Sit down, mate. Sit. I'm gonna get you out quick. Go back in. Sick as. Oh, that's a barra. Didn't even set the hooks on him, see? That's how good a bloke I am. Barra during close season. Don't even set the hooks on him. <laughs> Damn it. Just come out of nowhere. Oh, Mr. Jack. Oh, there's another one. There's so many Jacks in there. Oh, there's one. Yep. Finally got one. Oh, he's off. Damn it. As soon as that rain came, dude. There's so many jacks in there. Didn't even pop the hook, man. Come on. Yes. Oh, there was two on it there. Oh! Oh, no. How's the hook up right? It's terrible. All right, one more. I don't think I'm going to get much more of activeness out of them in this rain. I'm just going to let it waft in there. And I'm just going to... I'm right in there, hey, like, smoke me. Smoke me. Man, smoke me. What's going on? Oh, there's probably... Yeah, probably not going to get them now, hey. If they haven't eaten it properly by now, you watch them come out. I'm going to fast wind it. Like, how much, how many more hits can I get? Oh, I get one. <laughs> so many in there. Bullshit, eh? Another one. Okay, there. Yep, come on. Come on. Oh, there's a big dog in there, eh? That one's a big one right there. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. That's a proper, proper jacko. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, finally. Oh, that's a proper one. Yes. That's a good one. Get that in there. Big spool grabs there, right? Oh, that's a proper good. Oh, did that not go on? Camera was off. I've just hooked this, this proper one. That back camera hopefully got it. But yeah, proper. Proper one. Yes, look at that guy. He's proper. Man, there's so many in there. Look at that guy. Yes, he's, that's him there. I'll just, I'll just do a little GoPro hold up. Look at that. Little dude. I won't get the big cam out because it's raining. But yeah, look at him. Pretty good fish. So, let's get him back in. There's heaps more on that snag. And the rain just seems to fire him up for some reason, eh? So... Chunky monkey, dude. Chunky. Oh, Pen plenty of pepper in him. This snag's pretty done, hey? Oh, look at him on the back here. I'm just going to go over these sticks like death zone. Watch them. Watch over these sticks. Oh, there's someone coming. 
Someone was coming. Oh, someone's coming. Come on. Come on. There's lots of little Jackies in there, hey. So many little Jackies in there. See them. Proper like death zone. Oh, you're an idiot. What an idiot cast that was. I've got to get across those sticks. Done. Now I'm going to buzz one more. Just in case. I'm going to buzz one more. There's lots of little Trevally getting around now. Oh. Yes, there was one. He was like hard up, eh? Okay. Dunno, yeah, he sort of had their little active period now, so has to be hey corner stick current. Oh yep, that's a cod though. That's a little cod. Crab or no crab? No crab. No crab? No. No crab? No. No crab. Go son. Go. Oh my goodness, Jesus Christ, did you see that, that was, that was just violence, that was the epitome of violence, right there, throw one over that log there. There's a little one. Oh. oh, big one. Little one hit it. Little, oh, little one hit it. And the big one grabbed it. Put me onto the log. I'd just be stuck on the log now. They'd be gone. Oh, no, I'll just be on the log. No? We're not fishing there. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty standard jack behaviour, that. Spitting it out. Little one grabbed it, then big one come out, grabbed it, and then I was just on the stick. So, pretty shit. Oh! Oh! So we might, we might go. And look elsewhere, see if we can get out of this wind still. A couple of misses up this little this little offshoot. Not too much to ride home about, but enough. Enough. So let's get out of here. Oh that's fucking in there, that's fucked. Oh fuck that's gone. Is that the end of my session or what? I reckon it might be. Tie another leader, man. This wind is just first blue I've lost all day, but um, yeah, this wind is just horrendous, horrendous, man. Horrendous wind. 